Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I did one of these vlog style videos, so I thought that's what I would do today. It is 2017 now. That's... It's so weird to say, still. Obviously, a lot of people have very strong feelings about New Year's resolutions, whether they really, really have to make them or they absolutely hate them. And I'm not really one of those people, I guess, with either of those strong opinions, but I do tend to, I guess, try to think about the things that I want to do or the things that I want to change in the new year. Some things are a bit cliche. I mean, I want to go to the gym and stuff like that. I, I did join, though, so now that it's coming out of my bank account every month, I think I probably will go to the gym regularly. <laughs> but for the most part, I mean, I don't really think of anything huge that I've got to change within the scope of a year. But I do totally get why people make them because it's kind of like an extra push to try and like get something done that you really want to get done. So there are a few things that I would like to get done, preferably in 2017. So I thought what I would do today is share with you guys just five of my I guess biggest New Year's resolutions and the things that I really hope, hope, uh, I will try to get done in 2017. My first one I'm doing really great at so far because it has to do with YouTube. That's to post continuously throughout 2017. Each year for me is actually another year on YouTube as well because I started at the beginning of January in 2013. So it's kind of like, I guess, a good time to refresh my enthusiasm for YouTube, which hasn't really gone down. Obviously it's had its ups and downs when I was more focused and not as focused depending on what was happening in my life and all of that, you guys know that. But I haven't lost my passion for it, despite the fact that it's changed so much. It's definitely a big part of my life and something that I want to continue to pursue in 2017 and continue to be consistent with, honestly, for you guys and also just for myself because I really enjoy making videos. I also really would love to and plan on getting fluent in French in 2017. What better place to do it than, you know, in France, <laughs> after all? I've been working really, really hard with it and I know it's something that takes different amounts of time for different people and a lot of time, no matter who you are. It's just a very gradual process and it's actually very frustrating and a little bit um, difficult to be able to judge your own level and kind of see how you're doing basically because it's so gradual. But I know I'm not fluent yet and there's still like this little hill that I feel like I have to get over. I'm much more comfortable. I can have conversations and stuff, but I'm still, there's just, ah, something's holding me back. And in 2017, by the end of the year, hopefully by the end of the half year, but I'm not going to get too, you know, excited there, but hopefully I will be so comfortable, not just be able to hold a conversation, but be able to really engage in a conversation and feel natural speaking French. I'd like to get back into my Spanish too, but I'm not gonna like overload myself with resolutions. That's just kind of something that's sitting on the back burner for now that I hope I can get into. But the main focus is getting fluent in the language of the country that I'm in right now, because obviously that's, that's very important. Another resolution I have is to travel more. Um, I already have one trip planned for 2017, and that's to VidCon Europe. In April, that's in Amsterdam, and I already have my tickets, and I've gotten my time off from work and everything, so everything looks pretty set that I will be going to VidCon Europe, and I'm super, super excited. It's the first VidCon that they're having outside of the United States, outside of LA, well, Anaheim, I guess, technically. I should know, because I've actually been there to that VidCon. But in 2017, they're doing VidCon in Europe now and also in Australia. And obviously Australia is not really accessible for me here, but Amsterdam is very accessible from Paris. So I am super, super excited. Let me know in the comments if you or anyone else you know is planning on going to VidCon Europe, because I would really love to, to meet some people. Other than that, I don't have any trips planned yet, but hopefully there will be time and money for at least one or two other ones throughout the year. This year, I also really want to make more time for reading. You guys know I study English literature. I have been a huge like bookaholic my entire life and the past year or two has probably been one of the hardest times of my entire life to find time for reading and to find time to dedicate to that. And when I do have time and when I finally lay down and have that book, I fall asleep because I'm so tired. <laughs> I can't keep my eyes open. It's a real problem. But once I really get settled here and have a lot of things under control and can spend less time focusing and stressing over some of the things that I have been with moving and paperwork and everything, I really hope that I I should stop saying hope, these are resolutions. I'm really gonna try, I really plan to put more time into reading and to, I guess, I need to find like a couple of books that I really want to get accomplished in 2017 and put those right by my nightstand or something and get myself back into the reading spirit, really. I'm not gonna be crazy optimistic and say that I'll read as much as I used to because I don't think that's gonna happen, but I just want to make reading a little bit more of a regular part of my routine. And another one of my resolutions, I have to stand up for this one, is to decorate my apartment a little better. I wanna become a decor master. I love organizing things. I love decorating things. It's definitely something that I have a lot of passion for, but not 
not a lot of experience in or maybe talent in. I'm very skeptical about my natural gifts on decor, but I love it. And I already have some stuff going on. You'll notice that I did a little like organizing on the shelves over there and we've got some, actually a new poster here that you guys haven't seen. This is a scratch off map. It was one of our Christmas presents and we haven't actually done anything with it yet, but my husband and I are gonna scratch off all the countries that we've both been to, I think, is what we decided. But anyway, I've gotten a really good head start, obviously, on the decor and stuff, but there's plenty more that I would love to be able to do. And it'll just make it, I think, feel a little bit more like home, and I don't know, I enjoy it. So even more than just decorating my apartment, I want to decorate it in a way that makes me very happy and that I'm very proud of. So yes and become a decor master. So yeah, maybe I'm being overly optimistic, maybe I'm being too easy on myself, but <laughs> those are five of the things that I really wanna make happen in 2017. There are plenty of other little things that I am gonna really try for, that I'm really hoping for, but I'm not gonna like say them as a resolution. It just, it doesn't seem right, especially because by the end of 2017, if I haven't done them, I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> so yes, way to go, set the bar low. Let me know in the comments if you are gonna be making some New Year's resolutions this year, and if so, what are they? You know what another one of my resolutions should be is to make friends with somebody who has a dog. There are so many dogs in Paris, but I don't wanna just walk up to a stranger and ask to pet their dog, but I want to so badly. I need a dog in my life. I can't have one, obviously. My apartment's tiny and I don't have the stability and the money that you need to have a pet, but... I really, I gotta make friends with someone who does. Do you have a dog? Tweet me pictures of your dog or your cat or your hamster or whatever you have. I love animals. I need animals in my life. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you soon.